Hey, hello everyone, this side Sumit Sharma and uh, you're watching this video. So, we are going to trace this curve and uh, let's trace this curve. And if you are new here, consider subscribing and don't forget to press the bell icon and also like the video if you really liked it. And uh, comment in the comment section below if you have any doubt regarding this topic and regarding this question. And if you feel some fault uh, or see some fault in this question, then you can contact me through my WhatsApp group. And you can join my WhatsApp group through the description given the link. So let's start this video. Now you can see the we are going to trace this curve. This is a very important curve. And uh, or we can say that it is a highly demanding curve. Most people search for this curve. Or we can say most people search for the tracing of this curve. So it is a very important curve because it gets higher search volume in the YouTube. So first of all we go through symmetry. Now first point is symmetry. We check about check out for uh, if we put x in place of y and y in place of x then equation will be same. It implies what fx comma y is equals to fy comma x. It means if we interchange x and y then the curve remains same. Symmetrical about origin. Okay. Then it is symmetrical about origin. Now origin. Let's see origin. What is the concept for origin checking? Now, if we put 0 comma 0 in place of x comma y, okay, now the whole equation will be 0. Therefore, the curve passes through origin, okay. If we put x uh, and y as 0, 0, then the whole equation becomes 0. So, the curve passes through origin. Now, tangent at origin. We know that if the curve passes through the, through the origin, then it should have a tangent. Now, how to find the tangent? We can find the tangent by putting the least degree term equals to 0. So see here, what is the least degree term? It is not x cube, it is not y cube, but it is 3axy. So putting 3axy equal to 0, we get x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. Okay, simple to understand. Let's move ahead. Now we check for the fourth point that is the intersection with the coordinate axis. x equal to 0, y equal to 0, which gives 0 comma 0. Uh, remember how we find the intersection with the coordinate axis in the previous classes that we put in the equation x equal to 0 and we find y. Now if we apply that concept in this curve we get 0 comma 0 first intersecting point and uh, other point for other point we will put just one minute yeah for other point we will put y equal to x okay because curve is symmetrical about origin. Now we will put y y equals x so we get this equation okay now from this we get x equal to 0 and x equal to 3a by 2 okay so 0 is this and 3a by 2 is this okay so let's move ahead now we check out for fifth point that is asymptote it is a very important curve because of its asymptote here we get oblique asymptote not the parallel asymptotes we are not getting parallel asymptote about x and y but we are getting the oblique asymptote that is why this question is very important phi 3m we need to find phi 3m if you don't know how to find what is the concept of i mean what is the concept of asymptotes then you can watch other videos and also you can visit my playlist of asymptote okay so phi 3m is equals to 1 plus m cube okay now phi 2m is equals to 3m okay now yeah phi 3m is equal to 0 so on putting phi 3m is equal to 0 we get m equal to minus 1 and 1 plus minus root 3 by 2 okay now we need to find c c is equal to minus phi by phi m by 2 upon phi 3 dash m now we put the values of phi 2m and phi 3 dash m okay so uh, we have this now after solving this or simplifying we get c is equals to minus a we see that okay now here we have y is equals to mx plus c the equation of uh, asymptote i mean the equation of a simple straight line we have m and we have c c equals to minus a and m is equals to minus one we get here m is equals to minus one so we have the equation of a straight line or we can see the equation of asymptote x plus y is equals to minus a now uh, we have uh, this 
you can understand this table by reading by yourself six region of existence f x comma y is equals to f of minus x comma minus y what is this region of existence curve does not lie in the third quadrant okay you can see that curve does not lie in the third quadrant here we cannot see the curve curve is not present in third quadrant how i have told in many examples how to find the region of existence you can visit my previous videos by going through the playlist and you can click above the i button now uh, here we will discuss some points about asymptotes because some uh, people may have doubts in finding phi 3m how to find phi 3m phi 3m we can find phi 3m by putting what x equal to 1 and y equal to m okay so we get what we have this 3a x y v what is this 3a x y this will become 0 why because uh, you can watch my previous videos for better understanding of this concept and topic now phi 2m is what i cannot uh, told you here very i mean to say in detail so please visit the asymptote or uh, how to find asymptote topic now thank you for watching this video make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button if you, if you have any doubt regarding this question so you can contact me by my whatsapp group and also with uh, by my telegram group and you can download this pdf from the telegram group link in description thank you for watching